She looks like a piggy. Yeah. Jake. Jake. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Hello, lovely people. I moved to New Zealand on my own from South Africa many years ago and have a wonderful life there. Okay, I get it now. You're pole jumping. Now, for those of you who don't know, New Zealand is a small island nation home to around 5 million people located in the Pacific Ocean. It is famous for its endless natural attractions, rich culture, friendly locals, excellent food and wine, and of course, those movies with the ring and hobbits. Streets of Wellington, I will miss you. I made a tough choice to return to South Africa for a year, mainly for family and personal reasons. It was a hard decision to make as I've had to leave my fantastic friends, my precious fur babies, and a good career behind. It was quite a massive move, and I didn't know what to expect, but I knew that I was making the right decision and that everything would work out. You need to keep up. Just getting my passport right now from this lovely gentleman. What's your name, sir? Uh, Billy. Hi, Billy. Yeah. Billy, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I just got my South African passport two weeks before I fly to South Africa. <laughs> now, that's faith, eh? Yeah. You need me to sign, don't you? Uh. <laughs> just got my passport, and I just sold my bike as well, and my bike rack. Boom, just like that. Money in the bank. Busy getting this house ready before I go uh, in two weeks' time. Cake! Downstairs to rent out as well as renting out the house, the top. Um, yeah, I sound so like mega investor rich, no, I'm not. It's called a mortgage, high interest rates. Now I'm going to try and move this out. Okay, it's done considerable damage to my door, but at least it hasn't crushed me. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Got it through. But, 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 because impossible doesn't exist in my dictionary. Most of the time. Um, it's a little bit comfy, but at least I don't have to pay $100. To move this mattress 1.2 kilometers from this place to my house i ask you with tears in my eyes tears just saying we're gonna throw stuff out at the top this is day okay yes here we go here we go so this is one of my dearest friends diane hi hi amongst all of this chaos and disaster she has blessed me with a latte large just loving up on me and giving me gluten-free gluten-free chocolate cake and i think My anybody God, is moving who moves or moves cake. country or anything in the morning this is a breakfast of champions yeah i agree absolutely grace is picking up the the, the, the potty kit and um, i'm also buffing things off on grace <laughs> like i have with die now everybody hip breaks okay for any woman who knows life hip breaks Suppression or elimination of urinary tract bacteria. I'm just saying, this stuff's expensive. Do you want it? Yeah, man. Why not? Yes. I'm a woman. Yes. Oh, no! That's what I said. You? No. Do you need it? No, I'm good. The grace. I'm good. Showing your I'm good. <laughs> Every woman, do not be ashamed. No. They say own yourself or be owning it's it. Good. This is the good, good stuff. Good stuff. The good stuff. Yeah. Hip pricks. It's yeah. 85 blooming dollars, man. Kidding? Yeah, no, I'm not. That's why I kept it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm telling you, life is hard with this oh, being a woman. A, get, better get a UTI before May 2023. <laughs> <laughs> I've just dropped off the beloved painting. Been in the family forever. So it's going to be sitting in this gorgeous new home. 
Let me just go outside to my friend who's standing so beautifully, you know. You know, not a bad life, hey? <laughs> Amazing life in Jesus. Amen, sister. This woman has my power of attorney, so don't mess with her. <laughs> She's going to leave us very soon. That's very sad, but... Uh... I'm going to be uh, back. Yes, by the grace of God, in the name by of the Jesus. Of God. And she's coming back. Powerful. Amen, oh. brother. I love it. Bridget. This is Andy. He's a pastor. Andy's a doctor. And he's my friend. So, like, this is, like, bonus. I'm Andy. <laughs> I'm mostly New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealander. Um, These people are yeah, looking I'm at us. Sally funny. Ray's brother. Yeah. Yeah. In Christ. In Jesus. Yeah. And that's how we roll around here. Yeah. You know? So anything you want done. In New Zealand, he's I'm my, your man. He's my man on the ground. No he's, strings yeah, attached. no strings. He's amazing. Like Lord Jesus, how good are you to me? Good afternoon, coming to you live from the mess. If it wasn't for these two women, okay. hey, sis, that yeah, sis is like, shut up, just do your thing now. I'm busy cleaning. I did That's eat. Very she keeps on going on about the food. I don't need look food. Look at them, it's not. Oh no, my love, I let you sleep on the bed all night. Must have been a special night, hey? We're busy waiting to board the... Christine, kindly as always, has brought Dukes and I in to take the ferry to the South Island to drop him off. So I'm finally on board the ship and um, sailing out. It's not a bit of a it's wake up. Just say goodbye to Dips. Really I'm just sitting here in the cafe on my own. God, my face off. But yeah, it's what it is. It's what it is. Checking in. Good morning. Yeah. It says here. It says here. No power tools. <laughs> Check with your airline. <laughs> so it's a good thing I didn't bring my drill driver. Uh, What's the time now, my friend? 4 a.m. Yeah. And he got me here on time. No missing flights. Hey, so 
so I've landed in um, Johannesburg. I still can't believe that I'm here and that I'm doing this. Um, bit of a, like, what happened? I went to bed one day and then I woke up in South Africa. But um, arrived safely. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm just a bit and put my food. No, this is a hospital in the middle of a main city, but no, the peacocks are here. So, yeah. And of a noise. Look, if we're in the middle of a city, but no, there's a peacock. And I'm not talking about my mother. Beads and peacocks. Beads and peacocks. So we're sitting in the hospital waiting for the visiting hours. <laughs> My mother has brought a picnic. I have gluten-free crackers. And this is how you picnic in a hospital waiting area. And I mean, nothing stops you. Well, nothing stops Renee. <laughs> what have we got there? We've got um, some biltong. Orange juice. Orange juice. Guava that we've finished. Yes. Cheese and biscuits. Well, well yes. done. Life is sorrow. Overcome it. This is a window. Life is a duty. Complete it. <laughs> Life is a struggle. Accept it. <laughs> so while I came back to South Africa with a specific purpose and a plan in mind, I had the unexpected opportunity to travel South Africa a little bit. And the way that I was going to do that was in a car and I would have to build a box or some sort of camper van setup. But first I had to find a car which took quite some time and I finally found one in Pretoria. I'm here at the airport. Hello everybody. We'll be boarding soon and looking forward to hitting Oliver Tambo. Oliver Tambo. So that's my Auntie Anne. Nelson Mandela, can you see him? Can Where's Nelson see him? Mandela? Can you see him? Oh my gosh, he's massive! He's huge. Look at old Nelson! Yeah. He's large yeah, he's and in huge. charge. Yeah. Okay, so this is a classic. This is Oh, and he's on a crutch. And standing in the middle of an intersection where he's really getting hit by a car, but he's managing directing, directing, the directing traffic. traffic. He's not getting paid. Whatever people throw out the Because there's load shedding, meaning we have no power. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Amazing. This is all the woods area out there. We'll come back this side. Wait. This is an old school road, eh? Yeah. This road they made yeah. what in the in the, the and the poor trackers when the <laughs> when the when the the Buddha came over the mountain, so to speak. They came over this mountain. So everywhere inside there is the woods. So you can see where the moot is. What does moot stand for? Uh, it's like a, it's like in the in the valley. valley. A moot is a. I hope it's I'm getting valley. this right. Afrikaans people out there. Yeah. <laughs> this is a valley. So now we're going over to Wellington. You think you've got hills, eh? Well, we we also have one or two. <laughs> we do, we do. It's all the diplomats stay. All the diplomats stay with the. Union Buildings is this. I'm thinking that's Government House. Um, what's it called with that? Um, where um, Uncle Cyril stays? Yes. yes. Oh, Uncle Cyril is the South African yes. president. Yes. Um, his name is Cyril Ramaphosa. It's actually Ramaphosa. Ramaphosa. But white people really just can't get their little lips around. These old jacaranda trees. Um, they're in spring, they purple. In, yeah, in spring they become bad. And then when you look down in the city, it looks like a, one large purple haze. And 
that is what the city, this is the namesake of the city, is the Jacaranda City. Even though all of these trees are horrific invaders from South America, that old architecture, you know, this is all from the uh, all colonial influences. We have, we have no electricity. No electricity. We call it load shedding. That's our love term. Yes. For, for power outages. Everybody can't. wants to go at the same, same time. time. This is Michelle. True. Check this. Check it. I'm going there. You people have no idea. We are going. I'm filming in case there's anything. And now there's a, a car accident. How inconvenient. You know what they're in the way. How you inconvenient. Oh, and it's a new car. Shame. It's a venue. Oh, shame. Not shame on your name. Because <laughs> that's what it's like overseas. <laughs> I used to say shame and they were like, oh, shame on your name. I'm like, nah. Just shame, like I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, we're just going to quickly pop into the store because you know we've just gone through one of, one of the most traumatic things that I think anybody would ever go through. These are one of our malls. This is one of our malls, okay? It's just a yeah, it's just a centre because we are mall people. Americans, you ain't got nothing on us. South Africans are mall people. We do not go to the bush, everyone. Rich people go to the bush. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> is that true? Eh? It's true. <laughs> so it's called Queen's Corner. You know? Oh, look at that sun, eh? You it's strong. Lord Jesus, we need a parking, please. Just one right here. Hey, just see how... That's on camera. Do not tell me. The Lord doesn't listen. Check them, check them. Hey, hey, hey. Woo, check a one in. <laughs> Look at that parking. Yeah, on two actions. So this is a nice drop, but it's a This is dry. built on... This is what built on is. Okay. It's meat and it's dried. Yes, it's dried meat. Dried meat. Okay, yes. see how it just sits. Now she's testing to see how dry... How dry. Is this too dry, this one? Eh? I think I'm going to go for that one this because one. it's got less uh, fat on it. It's, little, it's beautiful. This part is a little... I'm going to go... If I go for the whole one, what do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think it's the right thing to do, yeah. <laughs> this is real built on. How much do you think that will be? Forty-five, fifty, maybe. Really? Okay, yeah. Let's check. Can I wait? Huh? Oh, maybe more. Ninety-two. Let's go for it. Oh yeah, prices have gone up, eh? Yes, ma'am. Everything's gone up. And why can't you cut that for us? <laughs> Load shedding. <laughs> Load shedding. And then I'm gonna get some of this. Because who can eat springbok? It looks dry. Eh? And yeah, it looks quite dry. Yeah, it looks a bit dry. Roybok? Rusks. What is a rusk, Michelle? It's something you have with your coffee. <laughs> it's dried. It, it's dried bread. <laughs> that sounds so nap. With sugar in it. We're just doing some car shopping, you know. That's the car I wanted down there, was the Ixio. Okay, now we've gone to the next car yard. I don't think there's going to be anything I want here, to be honest. Here I am sitting in my new vehicle, a GWM H5 2012 2 litre VGT automatic transmission diesel. It's been a mission and a half, but here I am, here I am in my new GWM SUV. We're going to drive down now to the gorgeous Paradise Beach in the Eastern Cape. It's a good two day drive. We're going to split it up. And I have flown my mummy, my mummy dearest. I've flown her up from Port Elizabeth and we're going to drive down together. So watch this space, people. <laughs> 